Pop Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The summation of the law, Jesus style. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, hit the mic, ring the bell, get the app, donate. You don't have to hit the mic. That's what I just did. See? If you love what we're doing at Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. Everything that all of our content is available on every platform in our app, Higher Things Lutheran. Check it out and donate. Your tax deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. Uh, the gospel for Trinity Sunday has Jesus being tested by a lawyer. This happens often in the scriptures that lawyers will come up to test him, those who read God's law. Teacher, what is the greatest, what is the biggest commandment in the law? And he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first, this is the great and first commandment. And the second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Upon these two commandments hang the law and the prophets. Hang, like he's going to hang on the cross. Hang, like he's going to give his life for us. Hang, like cursed is anyone who hangs on a tree. First, the law. What a gift. Summed up wonderfully by Jesus. Love God with your whole heart. That's commandments 1, 2, and 3. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's commandments 4 and 10. The two tables of the law. First table, about God and your relationship with him. Second table, about us and our relationship with one another. Both the law and the gospel are God's word. Both are his. Both are true. Um, the law curbs sin. It keeps sin under control so that it manifests sin doesn't happen. Um, we may see riots from time to time where people are being killed in the streets, but for the most part, God's law, through the government, keeps those at bay, punishing evildoers and the like. First use of the law. Second use of the law, mirror. The mirror may show that you are 10 pounds heavier, not because the mirror is at fault, but because you're actually 10 pounds heavier. Um, God's law is a mirror that shows us our sin shows us how we actually are. Um, like a friend that tells us how bad we actually are and we can't say anything because we actually are that bad. So the law of God shows us how we actually are, what we actually are and how awful we actually are. And it does it to kill us so that we would die to our sins so that we might live to God. And the third use of the law, guide, as a Christian, we hold the law up, and the law tells us how to love one another. We wouldn't know how to love others in this life without God's law, again, curbing our behavior, showing us our sin, so that it might instruct us in the gospel, having crucified our old Adam, how to love and care for those around us. And our neighbor needs us to learn how to love and care for them. So this is God's law summed up Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love God with everything you are and all that you are. Love his word, cherish his word, and love the preaching of his word, and love his name. Hold his name dear and, and pray to him. Believe that he's a good God. That is the summation of the first table of the law. Love God with your whole heart. And your neighbor, don't just love your neighbor um, the way you think they need to be loved. Love your neighbor as you'd like to be loved yourself honoring the authorities around you, um, taking care of their body and not hurting or harming them in their body, um, leading a pure and decent life in all that you say and do, husbands and wives loving and honor each other. The seventh commandment, not stealing, not taking what isn't yours, but helping support everyone to improve their possessions and income, not telling false words about your neighbor or slandering them or hurting their uh, reputation, and certainly not coveting everything in sight that you must have, that your life would be better if you just had those things. This is the summation of the law. Love God, love others. And the one who did this law is the one who hung on the tree for us, 
who loved God with his whole heart and loved his neighbor as himself, and he counted that loving God and loving his neighbor for us, and then died for our unlove. And by his death, you and me, all of us who believe in him, are saved. That's the summation of law, a good law, a law that tells us um, how we truly are. And then in the Christian faith, tells us how to love others. I'm Pastor George Barkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.